Hi guys, something a little bit different in this video. We're going to be taking a look at an app that's good for artist reference. I'm just going to show you it on the Play Store quickly. So I'm on an Android device. I think this is only available on Android. I have seen people use it on PC though. Search your App Store for, well, if you type in 3D Mannequin Dinosaur, you can see the full range of them here. So I'm not going to go into them all, but you can see there's a lot of different um, dinosaur types. There's a dragon one. I'm going to click on the T-Rex one, that's the one we're going to take a look at in this video. I already have this downloaded, so I'm going to click open on that. I use this app just to sketch what you can see in the background quickly. So here we are, I'm going to click start new, and once that loads, this is what we're left with. So I've only had a really quick play around on this app, so I'm probably not the best person to instruct on it, but just what I have picked up. We'll start at the top left, this button here allows you to see different joints of the dinosaur. Basically you can select these and move these around so we'll take a look at that in a second. This one to the right allows you to roll the camera. Let's see if he falls off. So that's pretty cool. For me I'll keep that straight. Next one is the camera distance, how close or far away you are obviously. I'm just controlling all this with my finger by the way so hopefully the tapping noises and not too loud because I am recording on the same device. To the right of that we have the pan camera, so pretty straightforward to move the camera. This one below that is to rotate the camera. This is one that I did end up using a lot so it's handy to know this one. I do find all these controls a little bit difficult to get used to, but some of you guys will be better with things like this than me. And below that we have a camera zoom. I'm not 100% the difference between zooming with the camera and going closer and further away with the other camera. Maybe it has some sort of forced perspective, I'm not sure. And in the bottom left corner, we can also add a grid if you need that. So in the top right corner, we've got animate and draw. If you select animate, you can see some of these are locked. I think it's because you have to pay for them, but that's no use to me anyway. So if I select walk, um, that's pretty cool, but not really what I need. I think if you select draw, it basically takes a screenshot. But before we do that, let's take a look at these options on the right hand side. So we've got skin. Basically, he doesn't have any color on him. Again, a lot of these are locked. I'm not paying for this. I'm only on the free version, so we don't have any color. For me sketching, that's not a problem anyway. The background, pretty self-explanatory. Um, you can change what's in the background. That's pretty cool. How useful stuff like this is depends on probably whether you're just sketching the mannequin or whether you want to set up a full screen. So the platform, again pretty self-explanatory what he's stood on. So I did have a quick look at these earlier and there are actually some pretty cool ones. I like this water one if I remove that because it puts his feet underneath. I thought that was pretty cool. And then on the right hand side we have our lights. So you can see two of them are lit up. So I'm going to select the first one. Again we've got more options. Without going into too much detail you can basically affect the strength of the light here. You can change the direction of the light here. So let's go up there. And you can change the colour. So I don't know, let's go something a little bit different. Even if it does look silly. So that's light number one. Light two, let's go in a different direction. Let me just turn the camera around. This is not my strong point. <laughs> this is where it gets a little bit difficult. So the setting up the scene is probably, for me at least, the more difficult one. And let's go with something completely different. I don't know why your dinosaur would be lit up like this. So it doesn't really fit in with his background, but I'm not going to spend too long messing about with that. And then these other ones that are not lit up, you can just tap on to activate. And again, add another light in there if you would like. I'm not going to bother with those though. I cannot remember what this button in the bottom right does, so let's have a look. Oh yeah, that allows you to lift him if you want him drowning. <laughs> or maybe walking on water. I'm going to leave him at that for now though. Anyway, I'm taking quite a while with this, so let's get into it how you would actually move him about. So you can actually select areas of him. Let me adjust the camera a little bit. So if I select his neck, like up here, you can see we've got these different options for moving him again, and it's got the name in a drop down. 
Again, it is a little bit difficult to control, but if you spent a while on it, you would probably get used to it. Looks like he's got a neck pillow on. I'm not sure what pose I'm going to go for. I might even speed this up if it takes a long time so that you guys don't get too bored. This might be where you want the joints turned on. And this button here just shows you the selected joint. So let's give him a bit of rotation and have him maybe roaring up into the sky. And it's pretty cool because you can also do things like open his jaw. Now for this, I am actually just going to switch the colours back. Or at least simplify them um, to make them a little bit more basic. Because I probably don't need all this. Although you can get some pretty cool dramatic effects with them. So anyway, once you are happy with your position, play around with it. And then hit this draw button in the top right corner. And that basically takes a screenshot. So you can work from that or you can export it and save it into your phone. And it's really as simple as that. So I'm just going to have a go at drawing this now in the background. I'm going to keep these pretty basic. Uh, mainly because I don't have much experience drawing dinosaurs anyway. But I still feel like this app could probably help people, me especially, in learning to draw things like this. As long as the model is well made, which in these it does look to be. A few things to note are uh, that if you grab body parts, you can also enlarge them and stuff like that. <laughs> but as you rotate them and move them, if it is a sort of unnatural position, it will, of course, stretch them out too much and it will morph or deform the figure, the skin on it. You can see the neck is a little bit weird on this one already. So if you actually want realistic reference, it does mean you would have to keep the pose itself somewhat realistic. I mean, I have seen people doing it and giving it like a giant head and all things like that. I do think drawing dinosaurs is ridiculously difficult. I think that there isn't a lot of information or reference for drawing them online compared to other things at least. And it's something that I would really like to learn quite well. So I do think these apps could be quite good. So from a very quick glance, I would say that some of the other apps in this series are not as detailed for the models. Some do look good. I haven't played around with them much yet though, but there is also a dragon app, which I think could be really cool. But I'm also expecting that it'll be quite difficult to control. I would be interested in hearing what you guys think to this app or if you've used any others. I think I have another one on my phone called Handy, which is for drawing hands. I haven't used it yet. I think that one cost a couple of pounds. But if you guys enjoy this video, or if you want me to make the same kind of video on some of the other apps, that might be pretty cool. Just let me know in the comments below. It could become like a cool video series or something. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. If these images actually turn out well, I will post them on my Instagram and Facebook and stuff like that. So a cheeky plug from me here. Go give me a follow on those if you guys use social media. So I'm going to leave it at that, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. As already mentioned, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Be sure to check me out on social media. The links are in the description box below. And of course, subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching, everyone.